Hi, it's Jack Riccardi, and for just a minute, tonight is the night that Tucker Carlson on the Fox News Channel is supposed to begin sharing uh, the footage that was shared with him by House Speaker Kevin McCarthy of the January 6, 2021 riot at the United States Capitol. There is a great deal of panic and pre- analysis about this video, but like many people, I'm just interested to see uh, what we can see. Because up until this point, all we have to go on are the uh, third-hand accounts of a tiny number of people who are very political and who have used their version of the events of January 6th to justify uh, and force a great deal of change in this country about a great many things. And so rather than just take their word for it, because we know what happens to truth and facts in Washington, D.C., no matter who has them, they get weaponized. I would just like to see some actual raw footage of what was going on, of how people were going in and how people were behaving once they got in and so forth. And, you know, this puts me in mind of the whole uh, lab leak conversation about COVID-19. The truth is that when COVID-19 hit our country in the spring of 2020, neither Dr. Anthony Fauci nor anyone else knew for sure where it came from. But they displayed a remarkable lack of curiosity about where it came from. Now, there were eminent scientists who were saying that this virus emerged right next to the Wuhan Institute of Virology and that that was a coincidence that needed to be looked at. They wrote a paper about it, in fact, a number of these uh, very highly respected scientists. What happened next is why I want to see the raw footage from January 6th. Dr. Fauci took that paper, called those scientists, bullied and threatened them into changing their conclusion from it probably came from Wuhan to it couldn't have come from Wuhan. Then after they caved and gave him what he wanted, he shipped several million dollars in grant money over to them. Then, when he would be asked at the White House briefings in like April and May of 2020 about the possible Wuhan connection, he would say, well, you know, I recently read a paper uh, by some eminent scientists who said it couldn't have come uh, out that way. It had to have leapt from, uh, from an animal into humans. And he said, I'll, I'll be happy to share that paper with you. I have it around here somewhere. Well, he had the paper because he had commissioned the paper. Now, the reason he did that is because if the virus did come out of the Wuhan Institute of Virology, there's a very good chance it came out during gain-of-function research that he helped steer funding to through something called the Eco Health Alliance. So there was a lack of curiosity about the truth. There was a fear of what would be revealed. There was a concerted effort to change the narrative and change the discussion. And so I'm not saying that Fauci knew the virus came from the lab. I'm just saying Fauci knew he had to make sure no one thought seriously or looked seriously into that possibility. That kind of treatment is what's happening with the J6 narrative. And that's why we need as much of that raw video as we can get. We're going to talk about this and many other things today on the show live between 4 and 7. And you can find The Jack Riccardi Show anywhere you like to get your favorite podcasts or on demand at KTSA.com.